So where are you originally from? From uh, from uh, um, Jewsbury. Yeah, I'm oh. from Jewsbury. Oh, so that was a long journey. Then. Yeah, yeah, it was quite far. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. I've been inspired by the greatest, Muhammad Ali, the Dalai Lama, Barack Obama. We've all got our heroes. Okay, who is my hero? Mary Berry. She's the epitome of class, but also I reckon she's got a bit of a dark side. Has anyone ever told you you look like Phil Collins? <laughs> but I bet even our heroes, they get the collie wobbles. I'm, I'm really so nervous. nervous. You're nervous? <laughs> Good, I'm nervous Are you? Too. Brilliant. Sweaty palms and butterflies in their stomach before meeting someone for the first time. Do you know what sealer is? I think I have it now. Sweaty upper lip alert. Because of it real now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I think I'm really nervous, actually. More nervous than excited. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm Jess. 21-year-old <laughs> Jess has no shortage of upper-class admirers as part of TV's poshest reality show. How are you, Jess? <laughs> yeah. Are you OK? Oh, my God, from Made in Chelsea. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jess, Jess. Made in Chelsea is a bunch of kids that roam Chelsea and their lives are just filmed. I'm sorry. I should never have kissed that guy. I started dating Jamie. One day we hated each other, the next day we loved each other. Just if you'd come in here and sat down and said, you know what, I fucked up. No, not true. Well, that's quite sad, isn't it? I don't regret it. Like, me and him have been through a lot. I, I'm, I'm really glad that we're still friends. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, I'm the first. You are here. I'm not a fan of the typical Chelsea boy, I don't think. And what sort of person are you looking for? I don't like it when people take themselves too seriously. It freaks me out. Usually boys that are really good looking are quite cocky about it and that's it just doesn't really work for me. Too short for this chair. I don't like the really cocky ones, I really don't like them. Tasked with sweeping our Chelsea girl off her feet is entrepreneur Luke. Hello, how are you? I'm good, mate yourself. Very good, thank you very much. Well. My biggest pet hate, which I see quite a lot of girls wearing, is kitten heels. The heels about that big. Would you like to leave your umbrella in there, please, Luke? You could be the best bird in the world if you wear kitten heels. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> My friends, we're going out. We're out, like, get a table somewhere. You'd end up spending, right, £500, pounds, £600 pounds or something. But you're always going to attract the wrong type of girl when you're sitting at the table. I want someone with a bit of depth and a bit more of, sort of a bit of a personality. Please follow me. Thank you. This way. There you are. Oh. <laughs> How are you? You right? Why are you laughing? <laughs> this is mad. Made in Chelsea. Yeah. Are you, is this weird for you? This is really weird for me. What do you want a drink? I need a double now. Yeah, go on. What can we get you? Can I just get a vodka soda and lime, please? What's your, oh, I can't forget me. What's your name? Jess. Jess. Luke, yeah. lovely nice. to meet you. I think people think I'm arrogant. He's quite confident, quite sure of himself. Cheers, by the way. Cheers. But I think everyone likes a bit of confidence. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's the best thing that oh my could have so possibly sorry. happened. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. That is too good. <laughs> I think sometimes I quite like seeing a bit of myself in someone. I quite like people that are not afraid to embarrass themselves. you actually bleeding. actually bleeding as well. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I like being able to be goofy with someone and not be embarrassed. You need a doctor? Yeah. Are you we, a doctor? We got a doctor. What happened? She's bleeding. Oh, She's my God. She's probably crying. Oh, he's bleeding. Look away. <laughs> oh, God, I don't like blood. Nightmare. No, you've had a shocker. Uh, mate, I've had a shocker. You've had an absolute shocker. Do you know, it couldn't get worse. Probably run over someone's dog as well on the way out. <laughs> Would you like to follow me? Yes, please. Just get away from it as quick as possible. Out. Wait, I'm watching you. All over in a minute. <laughs> Don't you see him? Did I just leave my bag? Bring me sunshine in your smile. It's a very quick look ahead at the weekend now, and it's very much a case of a heart shaped cloud just lurking over Wales there. Bring me laughter 
Blowing in from the east and hoping for lightning to strike in the first date's in restaurant world, is TV weather woman, Sean. There should be more happiness. Weather so is life. Feel that weather. Feel the movement. Make me happy. And so much as love is life, the weather and love go together. Hello, how are you? Hello. How are you? You OK? I'm very well. I'm Sean. I don't have that name, I'm sorry. Uh, Sean Lloyd? Um, Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You're very good. For me, no, it's all about the chemical reaction you have with someone. I couldn't give a toss about looks. At all. The brain is the sexiest organ in the body, without a shadow of a doubt. And I believe I have a date here waiting yeah. for me. Sean's date is gourmet cheese merchant Max. He's looking for someone mature and tasty. How do you do? Max. Sean. I'm a great fan of um, Tunworth. It has a very gentle white floor on the outside. And it's very soft and melting on the inside. Now, is that mine or yours? Would you like one of these? A glass of champagne sounds lovely. Just a small glass for me. Is that what you like? <laughs> Yes, I think I have a nice outer coating and a soft melting inside, if I'm allowed to say that. Fantastic. So tell me about yourself, Max. At the moment, I'm looking after an English cheese store. All right. Uh, an English producer. Oh, lovely. So actual so you don't cheese do makers. <laughs> no, but there's some fantastic Kefili in there. Yeah. I've got a piece in my fridge at home as we speak. Seriously. Yeah. Well, it's For dinner parties. Yeah. It's uh, it, it is. It's, yeah. It's a fantastic cheese. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, it's all. That's well. Oh, thank good you. Cheers. Yes. yes. Great to meet you. I have got couples envy. You know, I could be walking through Kensington Gardens or something, and I see a couple coming towards me, and she's laughing and holding hands with a gorgeous-looking gentleman. Can I take you to a sunny apart? Uh, yes. <laughs> thank you, Fred. And I walk past, and I frown, and I think, how the hell can she do it? What is it? What's wrong with me? Oh, look at this, how weird with everyone here having first dates. There you are. Yes, Thank you. Really Thank you like so that. much. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> so, has anyone ever told you you look like Phil Collins? Do you know what? No, they haven't. <laughs> You're the first. Child, so, you thank do. you for that. Oi. Ask her what the weather's like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's famous people coming out of our fucking ear rolls here. That's that girl from Made in Chelsea. Wow. She's from Made in Chelsea. She's fair. And get back, she's mine. <laughs> oh I'll fight you. What did you expect on this day? I just generally thought I'd come in here, try and play a bit cool. Instead of coming, I was like, oh shit. This girl from TV smashed the glass. Apparently, she's not gay. We can turn her. Yeah. Me and you together. Fine. Challenge accepted. <laughs> you can't be short of a guy. You must have guys fucking throwing yourself at all the time. No, not really. Picky. I, no, I, yeah, maybe. Definitely think that guys get put off by the fact that you're on a reality TV show. Like, at the start, it's like, cool. And then it's a bit like, actually, hold on, this is quite intense. Playing out your love life on TV is hard. It gets intense. It's not a normal way to live your life, but you know what you signed up for, so there's no holding back. Oh, it's so good. I don't really date, so this is kind of, <laughs> like, new for me. I'm just not a dater. I'm really awkward. This is actually really good, isn't it? It's, like, fucking good. <laughs> it's a really good choice on the sauce, though. Yeah, well done. So it was, like, 17 when I was heartbroken. It was at boarding school my first boyfriend. Everyone says that you don't know what love is when you're young, but I'm pretty sure I felt it. Do you think that's affected your relationship since? Yeah. Maybe. But why? I don't know. Maybe quite scared of them. Not really up for getting hurt again, to be honest. Do you think it was weird when you um, thought I was on main chance were you a bit like, what? I never expected it to be you. So Have I don't you ever seen me on it? Yeah, yeah. That's why, oh, that's why I recognise you. OK, fine. A pair of dungarees. My dungarees. I love my dungarees. I was like, who's the boy with a little short blonde hair? <laughs> <laughs> Me? Uh, yeah. Her. <laughs> I'm going to date with you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. 
Yeah, I do. Are you saying that I look like a boy? I do look like He's a boy. Good looking I dress boy, like though. a boy. He's a good looking boy. I definitely dress. That's why I've tried to wear a dress. I went on first dates with a good looking boy from Made in Chelsea. Fuck it all. <laughs> in dungarees. <laughs> How do you think that one's going? Like, can you tell by the body language? If you're wearing a velvet blazer like that, you're on the pool. And there's a velvet blazer, if I've seen a velvet blazer. That's where I'm going wrong. I wish you'd worn a velvet blazer. No, velvet jacket, you're not feeling it. Blazer, game over. So, tell me your favourite cheese system. Tunworth, which is a soft cheese. Yeah, I think I know that, yeah. Great fan of Stitchelton. Mm -hmm. Stunning. Hey, guys, I'm just checking on the food. Yeah, yeah. Okay? yeah. good, thank you, Stormy sir. skies or sunshine over here? <laughs> <laughs> we have high pressure in charge. Thank you ever so much. Yeah. Um, and enjoy. Thank you. Um, so, a quick admission. Go on. I've only really just clicked. Clicked that as to what? You are quite well known. I'm not that well known at all. So now it's. <laughs> I'm not so that well known no. at all. But I really is, am uh, not. So, but that doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Honestly, if that's I'm not right. that well known. <laughs> so, so tell me about um, about yourself and relationships. Then, have you been in? Uh... I haven't been married. Mm. Um, but I've had relationships that lasted two or three years. Mm -hmm. So you've never, never been married? No. When you take the four seasons, uh, you would say I was in the autumn of my... Um, of my life, yes. That would be very true. But that doesn't necessarily mean where your heart is. And I think my heart is firmly based in springtime. I think it has a lot to do with me that I haven't opened myself up. It's taken a long yeah. time... Yeah, I think it's taken an awful long time to find myself and who I really am. Do you get lonely? I do sometimes, yes. I live on my own, got, just got my little flat. And sometimes you do, you know, you go home and you just close the door and, and you suddenly think, oh, do you know what? It would be nice to be cooking dinner for somebody. And that's what I'd really like. Just come through a divorce, which right? is the okay. most traumatic to... Count yourself lucky. Oh, I, I do. I was married for eight years. It was the happiest eight years of my life, no question of it. We had the most amazing marriage, and one day he just left. I've only been divorced a few months, so it's still very, very raw. When someone has just left you, and you haven't even argued, and you're great together, and everyone else thinks you're the happiest couple on earth, and you think you're part of the happiest couple on earth, and your whole world has gone, then what you're going to do is question everything in life. You find yourself in a situation that's yeah. quite hard, I would imagine, at the moment. I've never been without a partner in my life. Ever. Really? <laughs> yes. So I'm finding myself alone for the first time in my life. I come from a big family, but I never wanted children. And I've had about 40 years of relationships. I've always had that companionship, and I think when you have that, you kind of struggle uh, to be on your own. Sometimes you might feel that you are leaving yourself open for some form of vulnerability. Mm -hmm. But if you don't go out there and take a chance and try and find something that you really are looking for, then you're, not, you're never going to find it, are you? Don't pretend that you're full up. Because the plaster keeps slipping off, I've got to keep putting it back on. <laughs> so imagine like this is a corner somewhere in Chelsea. Okay, I'll be Binky. And Who then are basically you? I'll be one of the boys who got caught just doing something stupid. Oh! Oh, hi, hi. Hello. Yeah. Um, did you have a good night last night? Well, yeah, but I heard you cheat on me. <laughs> There's a lot of rumours flying around. And I, I just don't think that I'm in the right place, you know. I've just been really busy at work. There's yeah, been so no much excuse, going on. is it? Like, you shouldn't cheat on someone. Yeah, like, but... I you your I mean, just... Fine. I'd chase after him. Do they not chase... Is that Towie? Why would you not chase after him? 
What are your friends like? My friends are very like I I be for Jump Me Gun, Miami, Vegas. Boys. But I get quite categorised as when I do go out. People do just assume you as a certain type. I think I get stereotyped quite quickly. I think people just think of what I care about is going out, getting messed up, chatting up girls. But when people actually get to know me, like I said, I'm a bit of a secret geek. Like, I'm into my conspiracies, I love history. And then I do a lot of um, protesting myself. I protest quite regularly for animal campaigns, anti-fur. I've done a lot of captivity with dolphins and stuff like that. My mates think I'm a weirdo. Like, where's Luke this week? See, like, <laughs> he's somewhere saving dolphins <laughs> somewhere. And I think that side is not that attractive to most of the girls I meet. I worked in Thailand on a dog orphanage for a couple of months. In for yeah, yeah, with dogs. Oh, stop it. I've got a real soft spot for doggies. The sort of girls I attract, they want that sort of Mayfair lifestyle. So that's why I always my dates will sort of fail, to be honest. I, I've been at Chelsea a few times. I've mingled in the Chelsea area. I don't really see you as like a Chelsea girl, if that makes sense. I think we're all quite different, but... I mean, I... the world would be boring if everyone's the same, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. Everyone is super different. Yeah. As requested, the syllabub for the lady. <laughs> Sir, for you. Looks too much like a Danish blue for my taste. Angie, that double Gloucester looks nice, doesn't it? Is it a double Gloucester? I think it's a red Leicester, isn't it? Oh, is it a red Leicester? Yeah, I think so. It just felt so natural. We pretty much chatted about anything and everything. Good cheddar is one of the best cheeses on earth, isn't it? A really good, strong cheddar. I love it. It was most definitely a nice spark and a feeling of comfort and ease. I mean, I'd very much like to meet again. I wouldn't mind a bit of that, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Take a fish. Um, it, was, it was very pleasant. Uh, what, what a nice chap Max is. I've never talked so much about cheese. <laughs> well, I wish you a lovely rest of your day. Thank the forecast you. is good. I think we're all... Oh, there's some sunshine out there. There is. You know, it sounds so much better when you say it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Good to How see you again. You, you right. too. All right, thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye. so much. All the very best. Thanks for all your help. Okay, good to see each other again. I, um, yeah, I, I, think, I think we're probably quite different people, aren't we? Do I you think, think so? Are, yes. Yeah. I think you're quite a serious person, actually, and I'm probably less serious than you. So I'm not so sure it would work in that respect. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah. I've had a most wonderful yeah. day, and it's always oh, great you. to yes. um, meet yeah. somebody special. And um, yes, uh, it, that's a wonderful conclusion for me. Right, OK, on you go. The chemistry's not there, it's not there, but it doesn't mean that you don't like each other. Yeah. You know, I've got loads of male friends, but I don't want to jump into bed with them. Not all of them, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. Merci, Merci à vous. And I hope you enjoy the cheese. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. I think she's probably a sort of a medium hard cheese at the moment that slightly needs to ripen and soften up. All the very lovely, best. Lovely to see you. At the moment, there's a bit of a wall bricked up in front of me. And maybe the first top layer is gradually being dismantled, but I think there's a little way to go. Swapping the northern cobbles for the first date's red carpet is 36-year-old Daniel, better known to Corrie fans as Vicar Billy. I've been doing Corrie now, what, a year and a half? And even now, sometimes, I think, shit, I'm in Coronation Street, <laughs> that's nuts. I'd have to say, I've been very surprised at the, um, the number of people that really have got a Vicar thing. I'll fight him all the way. Well, you'd do that for me. For God and for you. Oh, cute, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, how are you? Hey. Good to see you. I'm Fred, how are you? Dan. 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 Yes. You're the first to arrive. Uh, let me take you to the bar. Lovely. Thank Come you. With me. There you go. Merlin will be right here to give you a drink. Beautiful. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. How are you feeling today? I'm shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> Not literally, obviously. 
I can get up on stage in front of thousands of people or on, front of t in te on telly in front of millions of people and not care. But the thought of having dinner with one person in that restaurant is terrifying me. What brings you into our restaurant looking for a date? Oh, uh, I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> have you been single for long? Yeah, nearly three years. Three years, right. Yeah. Being in a show like Coronation Street and being single is quite difficult because you walk into a room and you don't know who in that room knows exactly who you are and who doesn't. It's difficult to judge people's intentions. I would prefer it if I could meet somebody who had absolutely no idea who I was, that had never seen anything I'd ever been in. Unaware he's heading for a rendezvous with our TV reverend is visual merchandiser, Dustin. Hello. I love a British accent. I think everybody does. Sometimes I have no idea what they're saying, but you know, it's kind of like fun to try to figure out what they're saying. What a good looking guy. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> I can see in the future. Oh, can you? Yep. I don't watch a lot of TV, um, really ever. Hello, how are you? Hello, good, how are you? Is your name Dustin? Uh, Dustin. Dustin Goodlooking. <laughs> Today it can be, yes. There we go. Yes. Let me take it. Do you know anything about EastEnders? No, no, no. Coronation Street? No, no. Thank you very All much. Right. Thank you. Are they like Dynasty? Voila. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. How are you doing? You all right? Very good, very good. Good. Thank you. You smell good. <laughs> How long have you been here? Mm, that long. Okay. Yeah, right. not long. All right. <laughs> have you come far? No, just um, just north of London a little bit. Uh, Hampstead. I used to live near yeah. Hampstead. Muswell Hill. Where do you live now? I live in Manchester now. Manchester. What brought you up there? Work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't catch your name. I'm Dustin. 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 Damn. <laughs> so sorry. That's all right. I'm, 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 I'm really so bad nervous. with names as well. So you're nervous? Good. I'm nervous. Are you? Too. We Brilliant. can be nervous okay. together. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Nice, nice to, to meet you. Meet you. The First Dates restaurant is not just the preserve of celebrity daters this evening. There is a table reserved for two VIP diners. Dan and Adam met on a blind date here nine months ago. Hey, how are you guys? And they're returning to celebrate what happened next. How are you? Are you okay? Good to see you. How are you doing, Fred? You okay? You're right. Yeah, good. Good, good to see good, you guys. Yeah. So what happened since I saw you? Woke up Christmas morning, 40. I was like, oh, happy birthday, happy 40th. And I'm like, thanks. So I opened this box and inside was a silver ring. Oh, you got engaged. You got engaged. Yeah. Well yeah. done. What did you say? I said, Adam Michael Stewart, would you marry me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that is stunning, though. I absolutely that is so love different. Are they, how heavy are they? Like They're quite heavy. Yeah, actually. they are. Yeah, it's a workout, that is. Why do you think you haven't got a girlfriend? I want to meet someone that grows me as a person. I don't want to meet someone and. It's stagnant, it's still. I want to meet someone who's fun, who's energetic. I'm, man, I hate planning, I'm not a planner. Yeah, I'm very me, like, yeah. cool, we're doing this, let's just go. Fuck it, let's go Stonehenge for the week. Let's just go see some crazy shit, like, just enjoy it. I'm not, I haven't really got Stonehenge, weirdest place, don't know why I said that. Let's go to Stonehenge and do some crazy shit. <laughs> yeah, nothing there to do as well. Don't know why that came out. <laughs> <laughs> God, oh, that's so good. It is refreshing to meet somebody different. The Chelsea boys are a type, and he's 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 quite far from that. It was he's just he was a gentleman actually, and I haven't I haven't met a gentleman in a while. Have you ever seen the film Meet the Fuckers? Yeah. My mum's like that. My mum's like a real sort of hippie, like really like. Is she? Yeah, which is cool. Like, which is cool. Which I actually quite embrace. That, that. is quite cool. I it's like that. Embracing. On the flip side, my dad is like. Quite because I'm business and I come home and my mum's my mom been like Reiki on the cat and dog. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's such a that. contrast in my life. I quite like that. Opposites definitely attract, I think. She's not my usual type at all, at all. But she's I think she's stunning. She's got a beautiful face. But yeah, no, yeah, it was nice. But I doubt she she's pretty gonna say a lot different <laughs> about me. <laughs> to be fair, a lot of girls I go for are quite fake, I'd say. When they all they care about is fucking Le on some shit like that. Yeah, and I'm it like, freaks me out. I'm Googling fucking aliens at 12 o'clock at night. Maybe, <laughs> may, maybe you're going for the wrong type of girl then. Hello. <laughs> you are? Yeah, great. 
It's a bit awkward, isn't it? It's all right. It's all right. We're all right. I've got money somewhere. No, don't be stupid. No, please. You can have the sweet. Oh, that's very kind of you. Don't worry, I'm a generous person. Gentlemen. So, um, are you guys going to see each other again? I, I, think, I think we'll hang out. Yeah, well, yeah, might as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. I feel like um, from seeing you on TV, in, in real life, you're quite comforting to be around. Like, you don't make you didn't make feel awkward at all. Mm -hmm. Like, instead, you made it was quite like you wanted to get to know you a bit more, to be honest. Great blind date. It could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. But I definitely would like to see you again. I think you're Jake's. Next time, maybe you won't break something. Hey, can we go to Nine Hill, please? Nine Hill. <laughs> yeah, it was good fun. She pulled. <laughs> I'm glad they have dessert. I always have to have dessert. <laughs> I'm a bit of a chocolate. Yeah, no, I, have a, I have a cupboard in my kitchen, the, and it's the naughty cupboard. Yeah, I have a naughty cupboard as well. Good, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the guy from Coronation oh. Street? Oh, the Vicar guy. Mm. I'll give a running commentary. They're both laughing. <laughs> have you noticed? They look very similar. It's so when people say to us, oh, oh, they look similar, we're like, oh. I'm like, uh, we're no, talking. we don't. No, we don't at all. No, we don't. Is it a gay thing? I don't think it's a gay thing. No, it must be because you wouldn't get a woman. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, they look similar. <laughs> Where are you from? It's a really small town by the name of Manly, Manly, Iowa. Okay. And then there's a town not too far away from that by the name of Dyke, which is like crazy. <laughs> but it's like a little yeah. amusing if you go home to watch like a football game or a softball game and see those on the, on the jerseys. <laughs> Yeah, it's difficult. You're just worried about people doing kiss and tells. What's your motive? Are you asking me out just because I'm on the telly, or are you asking me out because you, you genuinely think I'm hot? I'm an actor. You're an actor? Yeah. Oh, wow. Being on TV makes it very difficult. I don't watch TV. <laughs> I'm so pleased. That's brilliant that you don't watch TV. I'm on telly five nights a week here. You don't even watch TV, which is fucking brilliant. <laughs> I think this is why a lot of actors, we date within the industry, because it's easier to trust somebody that's in a similar position to you. I am thrilled that you have no idea who I am. I don't know what that means. <laughs> don't know much about history. Don't know much about... Ready to learn a lesson in love is Musharraf, star of the documentary Educating Yorkshire. Today, escorted by his former teacher, Mr. Burton. Hello, how are you? Oh, uh, good. good. Um, uh, how are you? Very good, thank, good. thank you. Good. So we were both on a, a series called Educating Yorkshire a few years ago, and um, I was Mushraf's teacher, English teacher. We were working on Mushraf Stammer, and then from there, he, he, he had the courage to get up in assembly and speak, and, and I think I reduced pretty much a nation to its <laughs> to tears. I want to thank you today for letting me speak in front of all of you. I want to ex especially thank Mr. Burton for, ha for helping me overcome my stammer. Oh, that's so amazing. Did the girl have to be into, like, wrestling? You're a big fan of wrestling, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 I am. Uh, don't start about wrestling because I'll yeah, just... be honest, <laughs> less than nobody's interested in that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I think he's just a decent human being, and that's oh. my pleasure. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Um, and the fact that he still calls me sir after four years. Yeah, is, yeah, that, yeah I mean that that qualifies his sir. favour. So it's, yeah. And as soon as your date arrives, yeah, I'll bring you here. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. That's fine. Thank you. It becomes a bit real now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's actually real. Have you been dating? Is this something new for you? Uh, uh, it's a whole new uh, experience. Yeah, so... Uh, what's, your, uh, what's your opening um, topic of conversation, then? Uh, Have you got it mentally prepared? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I've got anything prepared. I'm just going to... Mm. Wing it. <laughs> Wing it. <laughs> 
winging her way to a date with Yorkshire's finest is archaeology and anthropology student, Selina. Hello, how are you? Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? Good, thank you. Are you OK? I'm, I'm good, thanks, yes. Good. What's your name, please? I'm Selina. Selina, great. I, I really don't know who I would attract. I, I don't think I'd attract anyone, to be honest, like, cos um, I'm quite all weird and... I don't know. I don't think anyone would like that. Yeah, I think that's a react. How are you feeling? Really nervous. Are you? Oh. Really nervous. You'll be okay. At first, I'm like, oh, that it'll be cool to have a boyfriend sometimes, you know, like someone to call, be like, hey, what's up? Um, but then other times, I'm like, oh, boyfriend, like that's so much effort. Like, don't know if I have time because I have so many things to watch in my bed alone. So I don't know if I have time to, for them, you know. Please follow me. There you are. Um, uh, uh, this is your date. I'll just get you a seat straight away. Hello. Please, I'll, uh, you. Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, Selena. Uh, it's mm, 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 oh, sure off, yeah. So where are you originally from? Uh, for, um, uh, for, from, uh, um, to use Bury, yeah, oh, from Jewsbury. Oh, so that was a long journey then? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was quite Wait. far. I feel like I recognise you guys from some of Have you heard of uh, educating y y uh, Yorkshire? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, I'm from there. OK, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember from... seeing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to talk about your stammer? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fine. So, uh, Mush has got, he's got stammer, and uh, I kind of just here to, to, to yeah, help out in the initial... Yeah, if I, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disappear. Sure. It's really nice to meet you. Oh, really, like, I'm really yes. glad I'm here. Like. Yeah, yeah. I grew up on a farm. Me too. Um, really? Yeah. Oh wow. I'm much better with the city yeah. living. Yeah, me too. And I can't bear dirt. I agree. I like sterile. I mean, I like sterile. Yeah. I bet you're really good, though, at cleaning, like, the tractors. Oh, my God, it was spotless. <laughs> <laughs> I think laughter is probably one of the, the most important things in any relationship. But after my last breakup, it's taken me a good couple of years to get back to a place where I do feel I want a relationship. Heartbreak is horrendous, isn't it? I'd sort of got it into my head that actually we were just... we were going to be together for... Ever. So when it when it fell apart, yeah, it was it was horrendous. What are you what are you looking for? What do you what do you want out of? There's this wall that I have up in front of me, and I'm and I'm very careful about like who I let in. Yeah. Um, if I don't want to like get hurt, yeah. so that's kind of that's kind of where it is. Right now, I'm probably dating. You know, a couple times a month. And in the middle of the date, I'm, I'm kind of over the date um, most of the time. So um, I, uh, I keep striking out. Do you have siblings? I do. I have one sister. Me too. Um, she's three years younger than me. Similar to uh, half years. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, I adore her. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Do you want kids? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Oh, so yeah. lovely. My sister's a three-year-old. OK. He calls me auntie. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I'm still, like, still quite nervous. Yeah, this. oh, are you? Are you still nervous? Um, OK, I'm, I'm all right, yeah. Yeah, I'm like on a normal day. I'm like really awkward and shy. Oh, yeah. that's, oh. that's how I look. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, so yeah. this is a big, okay. big thing. To yeah, do it's a big, big, big thing. Yeah. So wait, um, is it okay if I ask about like religion? Yeah, and that, yeah, yeah. Are you Muslim? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I'm a Muslim. How about yeah, you? Same. Yeah, yeah oh, same. Oh, okay. Are you Muslim? This is, this is going well. Yeah. yeah <laughs> my, my, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, my mum was really worried. She was like, well, so who are you going to meet and what are you going to do? What if it, what if he's not like this? I was like, okay. no, it's yeah. yeah. My mum's hopes for me to find someone in and get married. But, um, cos she got married quite young, but my hopes are a bit different than hers. Just to meet someone and, like, see what the experience is like. Have you ever kissed a boy before? No. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Can I not answer that one? <laughs> you know how, like, people assume that, oh, you're supposed to, like, wear the... The whole the, thing, the, the yeah. whole thing. It's just my parents believe it's more modesty okay. than than co like covering, because you can cover, but you can still have yeah. a bad personality. Yeah, that's true. In my religion, we believe that 
we were made in pairs. So it's just like I'm half at the moment. It's not completed. So, so, oh, is this like your f like the first proper date? Yes, yes. Is this like your first proper date that you proper proper date? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like what things do you like look for in a in a girl. in a girl? In a girl, I would say I'm more like patient and calm, yeah. kind. Yeah. But I think I uh, apologize for. No, no, that's no, no, you don't need to apologize. Speaking, for yeah, it's just, just things. It. Uh, it's, 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 no, uh, don't don't apologize. For okay. it. <laughs> it's fine. Are you frustrated by it? Are you kind of annoyed by it? Or... Um, I like like um. Especially um, if I'm trying to tell a, a thing, a joke. Yeah, it's like, oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, like, oh. After the program, um, yeah. everyone thought that I could speak fluent and stuff, and it was hard for me to, to explain. Like, I think it just uh, takes me a bit of time to, like, speak up and yeah, get, sure. get calm and, yeah, just, yeah, it's just a bit of thing no, for don't me. Don't worry bit... about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's incredible. Fantastic. Hey. You take the first bite. That's why I'm dribbling it all down my face. How is it? Really good. Uh -huh. mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the best dates I've had in a while, actually. Yeah. <laughs> He's got amazing teeth. He's got a nice smile. He's got lovely eyes. He's a handsome guy. Do you feel that? Yeah, it's popping on your tongue. It's like, oh my god, yeah. that's incredible. I might need a bag of that just to go home. <laughs> Yeah, we're really compatible. And he made me laugh. That was the thing I really, really loved. It was very easy. I felt like I could be myself around him. He doesn't even watch television, so... <laughs> like I was a wrestler in high school. OK, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> you still got the outfit? Probably. It's amazing. And I don't think I've ever met anyone quite so similar <laughs> to me. <laughs> um, we were just so similar on all levels. <laughs> yes, I think he could be boyfriend material. Yeah. Can you let me? Uh, let me get this. No, I, please. please, please let me get no, this. No, no, no. Let me. No. Okay, I, at least halves then. No, 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 no. Come on. You can get me another time. Thank you. Um, and then once it's declined, then you. Can... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you say that you fancied him? Yes. Yes, I would say that I fancied him. <laughs> I feel like I'm five. <laughs> My mate fancies you. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's go for... Let's <laughs> you <right? Yeah. laughs> It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Thank to you. See you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Would you like to see each other again? I'll let you go first. Yes, I would like to see him again. Yeah. I would like to see you again as well, but as friends. Yeah. Fine. I adore this guy, um, but he reminds me too much of myself. <laughs> <laughs> we are so, very yeah, similar. Very. It's yeah. like crazy. Yeah. I thought I was having similar. dinner with myself. <laughs> Do you go back to Hampstead? Yes, yes, yes. Very good, very good. <laughs> For me, finding somebody who has had a similar background, similar drive, similar, you know, all sorts of things, like we had, that for me, for me, it, it, that's a good foundation for potentially moving on to something else. But not everybody feels like that. Thank you. Take care. Thank, Thank you for dinner. I do find it slightly odd that that would be your excuse. Maybe he's just being really kind. He's just saying, no, I just don't fancy you. And that's fine, you know. Yes, it was lovely, thank you. Yeah, it was great. Yeah.
Yeah, good fun. One, yeah. So do you like playing any games or? Um. Like um, two truths and one lie. Do you want to play that? Yeah, okay. Okay, but I can't. No, I need to think of something. Okay. Okay. So number one. Let me think. Look, he's done a date before. Mm. Wow. From watching from afar, um, uh, it, it appears to have gone well. Yeah. I prefer chocolate over gummy sweets. I went to boarding school, or I had braces. Now, which one is the lie? The, 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 the first, first one. one. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Was, that the was first, a lie. Yeah, the I prefer one. gummies over chocolate, but yeah. anything sweet is good. Yeah. It's great to see. It's lovely to see him kind of happy and just not stressed about no, 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 no. speaking. It's great. It's nice to see good things happening to good people. Do you like theatre? Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Like, what about like lame ears? No. No. No, I don't. No. I don't, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can deal. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you like Selena? Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What did you like? Um, I would say, um, her, some, hide, yeah. I'll do this half. No, no, no. I'll do this half. We have to go half. Oh, it's fine. We're it's definitely going half. No, don't, don't do that. Oh, wait, shh, 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 shh. No, 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 you can't do that. That's, that's theft. No, it's not. <laughs> For a first date ever. It was pretty good. I think I did pretty well. <laughs> and yeah, it was it was good. I don't know if he like me. I think he I don't know. I don't know what he thinks. Thank you very much. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. There you go. You didn't have to. No, no. It's fine. Very nice of you it's to fine. do. It's fine. It's fine. Hi. Should we go? If you want. If you want, yeah, let's go. Would you like to see each other again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Be nice. yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. You have a jacket? Yes, I do, yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah, I think you're like really nice and really sweet. And oh, okay. You made me feel Thank really you. comfortable. Okay. Today, so. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, and I think I really uh, appreciate your uh, um, patience. Yeah. yeah, appreciate it. Not... It's okay. No problem. <laughs> After you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we're good afternoon. Thanks. You too. Thank you. I think it went good, good. really yeah, good. It was good. Yeah. yeah, for our first ones, we did pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's Thank you.